What's up guys? It's Tari. Nice to see you again. So I have been, I guess, spoiling myself a little bit. The first thing we're going to talk about is Sephora. There's just three items that I got from Sephora. Um, the first item I got is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. Okay. And I have used the... Um, now I do have the Makeup Forever, what is it, Dual Matte Powder, okay, and this is the Dual Matte Powder. I only really use this in the summertime, but even then I really don't use it that much as you can see. I've had this for maybe a year, uh, maybe a little bit more than a year, and I, you know, I don't really use it too much. I'm not sure why. I think it's just because it's stashed, like under all my other powders that I don't see it. But I'm in number um, 216 in the Dual Matte. The number 2 is gone, but... I'm 216 in the Makeup Forever Duo Matte, but now I wanted to try the Pro Finish um, because um, I'm looking for more of a semi-matte powder now. I'm not really liking that whole mattifying look, so I went to the Makeup Forever counter um, in Eden Center, downtown Toronto, and I picked up the Pro Finish, okay, and I'm in the shade 174. Now this powder does look a lot lighter than my skin complexion as you guys can see but it only looks like that once you apply it to your face it goes in like everything looks really 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 good. Um, when I she did apply this on my skin yesterday I didn't wear any makeup for that reason and it looks amazing. So I am wearing it on today obviously not in the center portions of my face but in the exterior in the um, exterior. This powder is a um, medium to heavy coverage. It does depend on how you apply it. So if I want more coverage, I kind of just like pat all over my face instead of doing swooping motions, if that kind of makes sense. I kind of just pat. So it is very, 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 very buildable. And it does feel really, really, really good on my skin. So I like that. But I'm just going to compare the Makeup Forever Pro Finish and the Duo Matte the colors. The Duo Matte Powder is a shade darker than me because I specifically bought this powder for the summertime so it's about a shade darker than what I would normally be so just bear that in mind but as you can see you know there is a big 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 difference um, between the two so yeah just an FYI in case you go to the store and they're trying to match you and you're like nah girl that color ain't gonna work for me it most likely is gonna work for you because it looks light in the pan but when you apply it to your face it looks really really good so yeah the next thing I got from Sephora was finally the Becca powder in opal you guys I have been on like a serious hunt for this in Toronto they only um, have Becca like the Becca line it's only in the Eden Center and every time I go to the Eden Center to pick up opal or the other one there's like a gold one they're always sold out always sold out um, so I went in this week and I finally got in I was like yes one thing I do have to say is that this powder is expensive um, in Canada it's about I think it's about forty five dollars and I'm pretty sure in the US is probably like forty dollars or something like that like it's a lot more reasonable but this is really exp <laughs> this is expensive it's more expensive than what I thought it would be but I mean whatever um, I bought it because of the hype okay I'm not really sure if I am gonna keep this because to me it's just like meh like it's not that special um, but this is what it looks like okay I'm pretty sure you can find a lot of swatches here on YouTube um, but I'm gonna swatch it anyway because I already showed you guys okay so that's a swatch of opal I, I see what the hype is about but I don't see what the hype is about because it's like okay like I don't know I feel like it's overhyped in my opinion um, but maybe it's just because I haven't worn it yet but I really really feel like this is overhyped I don't feel like I don't know I feel like uh, I kind of feel like this is worth $30 but not the $45 you know what I mean like that extra 15 just kind of hurts my soul um, but I'm gonna try it out a couple of times and if I don't like it I'm just gonna return it and then that's it <laughs> the next thing I got was the um, I guess was the duo set um, by their real and it um, by their real by benefit so you're basically getting two for one in Toronto um, the their real mascara is $29 so about $29 or maybe it's even I think it's even a little bit more 
I don't even know. Um, either way, it's a really, really good deal. You kind of get like the mini, not necessarily mini, but you don't get the full size liner in this, um, in this set. You only get the full size mascara. Okay, so the mascara, as you guys can see, is like this, right? I'm pretty sure you guys all know what the one looks like. See, it's like a little itty bitty liner, and the liner is just this little baby thing right here, okay? And then as you twist, the gel comes out and blase, 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 blase. So I already know that I like the mascara because I did get a sample um, last time, I think they had last year, I believe. Was it, is it really a year yet? But I did try it and I did really, really enjoy it. Um, so I know I'm gonna like that and I just kind of want to try the push-up liner because I've been hearing a lot, a lot, of, a lot, a lot of great reviews on it on YouTube and everything like that. So I just kind of wanted to give it a shot. So I picked that up as well, so yeah, yeah. The next things I purchased were just from um, the drugstore and, well, Walmart. <laughs> and I just picked up these lashes. These are like my favorite everyday lashes now. And for this pack, it's $12 for five. For five pairs i don't think that that's that bad um the style number is kp can you guys see that kplm01 that's the style number okay and i am wearing the lashes today okay i do have them on today hey anyway, i just think that they're very very nice for every day they're very subtle and they just give an extra pop without being too dramatic so i have been really, really enjoying those and last but not least i got some eyeshadows from coastal sense um, this is when they're having their, is it 90, yeah, a dollar sale, their dollar sale, a dollar sale, right. The first one I got is this one, this is called Mauve Frost, I'm not going to swatch these because really I think everybody has these on YouTube. Um, the next one I got is October Fest, which is one of my favorites from the Coastal Scents in like their, their brown colors, October Fest and Harvest Brown are like my favorite by far. If there's two browns that I would recommend you guys pick up, it's those two. Once again, it's Harbor Fest, Harbor Fest. Now I don't even know the name. Harvest Brown and October Fest, okay? Next up is uh, Peachy Copper. Next, I got Pumpkin Pie. Next, I got Fool's Gold. And I got Fool's Gold because it's kind of like a mustard brownish color but more on the mustard side it's a really unusual color and that's really why I got it because I don't know I wanted to see how I can use it so um, yeah <laughs> okay the next two colors I got seriously look the same <laughs> like literally they look the exact same um, and these two colors are Midas gold or Midas gold and the next one is cantaloupe spice and they kind of look Actually, they really don't look alike now that I'm looking at them through here. When I look at them like face front, they look really, really the same. But up here they look different, but okay. Well, they kind of are the same though, right? Like they're not that different. So this one is Cantaloupe Slice and this one is Madas Gold. And the last color I got is Peach Fuzz. And then Coastal Scents also threw in this uh, palette sampler for the Revealed 2. And you also get like a $5 um, gift certificate for if you want to order it next time. Um, and yeah, so these are the colors. I don't have any of the Reveal palettes. I don't know why. I don't even know if I even should buy it. I don't know. I might order the Reveal palette. You guys let me know if the Reveal, the first one or the second one, which one, which one would you recommend for me? Um, down in the comment area let me know and that's it okay that's all I want to show you guys um, let me know what you guys think about the um, the push-up liner by their real by benefit let me know if you guys have tried it and how do you find using it because I did hear that some people struggled with it at first but now they're like a pro with it um, so I'm not exactly sure so you guys let me know down in the comment area what you guys think about it also if you guys have tried the um, pro finish by makeup forever let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment area and also let me know what you guys think about the becca powder and opal do you guys agree with me and you think it's kind of overrated and overdone or do you think it's like the best thing in the world you guys let me know because i really i'm not really feeling the hype for it i'm not feeling the hype but you guys let me know down in the comment area let's converse and let's talk and on that note i'll see you guys later bye